What's going on, everybody? This is a special message for my crypto brothers, man. <clears throat> There's been a debate on YouTube about high value men, which really has been conflated by a lot of people with being a high earning man. And when I say conflated, I mean, a lot of the conversations is just based on one thing, which is income, which is based on how much money, uh, you know, a man makes that he can provide in, in a relationship, particularly a marriage. Now, I was thinking this morning as I'm walking, in the next four to eight months, there's gonna be a lot of high earning men, period, because of what is gonna happen with this reset in regards to not just a lot of crypto millionaires, but also a lot of brothers and men who are gonna become millionaires off of gold and silver, um, and, and among other things. And then I thought to myself, it's gonna create an influx of high earning men. Now, make no mistake, brothers, before it gets to that point, we're gonna have to go through some trials and tribulations because of all the manipulation that's been going on, not just in the crypto market, but stock market as well. I think that a lot of the manipulation will eventually be exposed. A lot of this corruption by the CCP is going to be exposed. And it's very, very important that brothers um, understand this because it will be exposed. Some of it is being exposed right now. Now, there's a story in the Bible, right, about the time where Israel was sinning against the Lord. And so God punished them. And there was a man, I forgot his name, praying to have a child. And God gave him Samson. Okay. Now, when God blessed this man and his wife with Samson, uh, he, he gave them specific instructions on how they should raise the child, right? That they should keep the child away from alcohol and strong drink and that the, the child should never cut his hair because the hair is where he will get his strength from. And so they, they did that. Now, Samson wanted to marry this girl, but his parents objected because she was from another tribe. She was Philistinian from the Philistines. And they objected. Now, a lot of you know this famous stro story. They, they, want, they went to go meet Samson's wife. And on the way, where they, when they were going to her village or, or what have you, uh, a lion ended up attacking Samson and with his bare hands, he broke the lion's jaw. He ended up marrying the Philistinian woman, but he got bored with her. Well, he didn't, yeah, he, he got bored with her and basically then he slid her off to the homie. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then of course, there's the story about Samson then getting into a fight with a thousand Philistinians and killing them with I think it was a cow's a a a ass or something like that. I don't remember, but he killed like a thousand men with his bare hands. Now the Philistinians were getting tired of getting their butt whooped. So they send a woman to try to figure out what his, the secret to his strength was, a woman by the name of Delilah. And Delilah accepted it. They probably threw her some shekels or what have you. So Delilah kept trying to figure out what Samson's secret is. Now, Delilah was, you know, um, described as being a very beautiful woman. And Samson, of course, would lie to Delilah and tell her, this is my secret, this is that. But that, that wasn't it. Now, Samson, at that time, he should have known that Delilah was no good. Because why does she want to know your secret? Why? Long story short, one night, a day, Samson finally caved in, told her his secret, and the Philistinians then attacked him by cutting his hair. Samson then was, you know, tortured and, and uh, you know, scheduled for to die. And then he prayed to the Most High and asked him to give him strength one last time. And he basically uh, toppled over the building with his bare hands. You know, now, why am I sharing this story? 
I'm sharing the story with you guys that are in the crypto game, you guys that are in the gold and silver game, that a lot of you guys are going in the next four to eight months, a lot of you guys are gonna have wealth that some of you guys could never have imagined. And there's gonna be a lot of Delilahs waiting for you guys. A lot of Delilahs. And some of you guys are not going to be ready. This is why I made that video the other day talking about the temptations of a crypto millionaire that you'll face. Temptations that you'll face, period. Because I have seen this happen to people that I know personally. And a lot of you guys, you know, I'm not saying you shouldn't be celebratory and have fun with your money, but be careful where you're having fun and with whom you're having fun with. You know what I'm saying? And also what type of fun you're having, you know, let's be real. But the reality is a lot of you guys are not going to be ready for the influx of temptation that will come your way once you get this abundance of wealth with this great reset that is coming in. And I will definitely keep you gentlemen in my prayers, right? Look, look, don't get me wrong. I enjoy the company of a beautiful woman. I do. I, I listen, I, I'd rather chill with a, a bunch of beautiful women than a bunch of men. I mean, I'm just being honest, you know what I mean? But the reality is, is that what this high value man debate has exposed up in the open is how many of these women, these Delilahs, are looking for a high earning man. They're looking for a high earning man. They're looking to live off of a man's resources and lifestyle. Now I know some of you are wondering, well, what does this have to do with Delilah and Samson? The reality is Delilah wasn't with Samson cause she really loved them. Delilah wasn't with Samson because she genuinely loved him. Delilah was with Samson because she was promised something, maybe some shekels. And a lot of you men are going to get with women that ain't really going to love you. I mean, I'm just being honest. Let's just keep it a buck. And they just want something from you. They want that lifestyle, right? And I know some people are going to be mad at me saying this, but it, it, it's, it's the reality that you're going to have to be very, very meticulous with your vetting process. You're going to have to be meticulous with your vetting process, not just the women that you allow into your life, but also the, the men, the friends that you deal with. Because not everybody that's gonna be coming into your life is going to be a friend, is going to be a homeboy, even family. There are people that are gonna come, they're gonna try to scam you. There are people that are gonna come, they're gonna try to rob you. There are people that are going to come, they're going to try and use you. And some of these people are going to be called so-called friends. Some of these people might even be your family members. And some of these people are definitely going to be beautiful women. And this is why you have to take heed and start mentally preparing yourself for this abundance of wealth that you're about to get. A lot of you guys think this is a joke. Before we get this abundance of wealth, I already told you, it's going to be one final big crash and then it's gonna go parabolic. But I really need you men to start thinking about things like that because there's gonna be a lot of women out there waiting for you at the finish line with open arms. Let me say that again. There's gonna be a lot of beautiful women out there waiting for you at the finish line with open arms. And not all these women have your best interests. They may smile in your face. They may say that they love you. And I'm not trying to be pessimistic, but this is why it's going to be very important that when you do get with a woman, that you vet her thoroughly, you vet her properly. You know, a modern woman can't do nothing for me, but show me where a woman of the most high is. That's facts. I'm out.